I recently looked up some information about John Glenn. He was an American astronaut in the NASA program and also a United States senator for the state of Ohio in the United States of America. When I found him on Wikipedia, it said he was the third person and the first American to orbit the Earth. Other information that you can find in Wikipedia about John Glenn was that he was a distinguished fighter pilot in World War II, China, and Korea. And in 1957, he made the first supersonic transcontinental flight across the United States. And I thought this was very interesting. His onboard camera took the first continuous panoramic photograph of the United States. The reason I bring up John Glenn is I saw his name in a book that I have been reading recently. That book is by Robert T. Kiyosaki, and it's called Why A Students Work for C Students. In that book, in chapter two, there is a list of 50 people who did not finish school. I'll read off just a few of the names to give you an idea. At the top of the list, there are several presidents of the United States. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Harry Truman, Grover Cleveland, Zachary Taylor, Andrew Johnson. Number seven on the list was John Glenn, the astronaut and the U.S. Senator. And that was what caused me to go look up some more information about John Glenn. His timeline has a lot of similarities in life timeline as my dad, Jim Maris, and I was just extra curious to learn a little bit more about John. Other people on this list of 50 people who did not finish school include Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, Dave Thomas, founder of Wendy's, George Bernard Shaw, a playwright, Peter Jennings, a news anchor for ABC, the movie director, Quentin Tarantino, the author, Mark Twain, the founder of Oracle, Larry Ellison, the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, the founders of Apple, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, Ringo Starr of the Beatles. The reason I shared those names is because in this episode of Agile Digital Business, this is episode 36, I'm going to bring to you a very short snippet of training inspired by one of my llamas, Heartsong. And we talk about situational leadership and a lesson that Heartsong shared with me as I was leading her. And then I shared that lesson in a group. My colleague, Bev Patwell, who teaches the program Foundations in Leading Meaningful Change, as well as several other programs, invited me to share a little bit of my insights that I draw from the livestock that I raise and train here on our farm. And for this particular session, I had Heartsong with me on the Zoom call, and together we provide a little bit of insight about how llamas self-select into their various roles in the herd, and how Heartsong plays the role of the leader. And she plays it really well. I read off a few of those names of people who haven't finished school and have succeeded in amazing ways to get you thinking about how you select leaders for your organization. This episode is a bit of a departure from some of the topics that I typically cover in Agile Digital Business, but I have been away from the show for a little bit over a month and wanted to get it back rolling with something short and sweet, and this particular topic has really been resonating with me lately, so I wanted to share it with you. Before I go on, I want to do just a quick commercial for Wikipedia. If you have used Wikipedia this year, consider making a donation. Every time I open Wikipedia, or recently as I've opened my email, I've seen some notices about their fundraising campaign. They do that annually to be able to keep things going for that wonderful internet encyclopedia. 
and a very, very small percentage of users of Wikipedia actually donate anything to it to keep it going. So if you like using that particular web service, please do consider making a donation to help them out during their fundraiser. I'd like to give you a little bit of a setup about the audio you're going to hear in just a moment. It was being recorded as part of a Zoom call. I was outdoors on the farm with my Llama Heart Song on the call, so you will hear a little bit of background noise from the farm. The cicadas were busy in the background, and you'll hear Heart Song moving around just a little bit, and the grass is rustling. You will also hear reactions from people who were enrolled in the program. The Leading Meaningful Change program is one of several different opportunities that Bev Patwell provides for learning about leading change. She is also a book author, and I highly recommend that you look up books that she has written. Her latest book is Leading Meaningful Change, Capturing the Hearts, Minds, and Souls of the People You Lead, Work With, and serve. Could you tell the group uh, how you're using your llamas to um, educate people on leadership concepts and change? I spend a lot of time watching the animals when I'm just out here doing my farm work and training the animals. And so when they give me ideas, I come in and I'll, I'll write up a little module that I can use in my course. And j just a very, very quick example watching them work on the trail if you're out with a string of llamas pack llamas on the trail you could have a llama like this heart song out in the front she's a lead llama she communicates really well so if she sees danger on the trail she's going to make a sound that's going to communicate to everybody behind her on the pack string even llamas that might be around a bend that can't see the danger so i teach a lesson about how every llama has a different role in that string and that you couldn't place a lead llama in the middle or the back of the string. She would be absolutely miserable and she would quit working for you. And <laughs> if you got to the really uh, nth degree, would stress out so badly it might kill her. Now that's a crazy extreme. But I used it to teach a lesson in team dynamics and allowing your team to self-select into the roles that they are best suited for and not forcing them into positions that they mm. that they're not cut out for so i teach those kind of lessons and then i use little video clips and and photos and sometimes the actual animals like this on a zoom call i'm going to go sign off and put her away and then i'll come back and join all of you okay 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 so but I, cool. I just want to I just want to say join Vicki's uh, LinkedIn channel because she often posts these leadership snippets on her LinkedIn. So, so yes. it's great stuff. Thanks, Vicki. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you for listening. With that, I'm going to wrap up episode 36 of Agile Digital Business. If you haven't already subscribed to the show, I would love to have you do that. That way you'll get a notification from your podcast player when a new episode is released. If you would like to leave feedback for the show, I really appreciate reading your reviews and your star ratings. They are very helpful to me as I evolve the show. Let's go out now and teach, inspire, and connect.